So I just wanted to show you a few tools uh, that we use when we're doing our painting to just add a little bit more texture, a little bit more detail to our work. So the things that um, we have, this sounds a little funny, but have a toothbrush on hand. Sometimes you want to do some splattering effects and that uh, is very easy to do. That's what we did on the front of the lodge. So the front of the lodge this year has no painted cardboard. It's just the raw cardboard, but we took it outside and we splatter painted with a toothbrush, a few colors on there. So it just brought a little texture to that area while being a very quick way to bring color to it. So of course, you know, the lodge is layered with an awesome roof, really fun doors, uh, pots and um, other foliage in the front and an animal or two. So it, it could stay a little simpler and implement that toothbrush splatter painting um, technique. But also feather dusters are really great to have on hand so we can use those to bring instant texture to something. You can use it to bring texture to trees or to bushes or just to a graphic pattern that's a background element. It's so, so simple to use. I love it. Another thing that we use a lot of is real sponges. Um, this sponge here, we actually put a lot of different colors of paint on there. You can stamp that to give them that texture that you're really looking for. You can get different colors on the same sponge and just kind of dab it around and it adds a lot of, a lot of texture and blends those colors really well. Sponges, of course, are great. The sea sponges you can buy at the paint stores or the craft stores. But I'm even a big fan of just uh, the rectangular sponges that you can buy from a grocery store. So those can be cut up into shapes a triangle shape, a circle shape, a dash shape, even a letter, and you can use uh, those sponges in a really fun way too. Sponge that we use for larger things that need texture, like maybe you're doing a mountain or a, a big tree, is you can actually get these rollers that have a sponge texture to them and that's for rolling out really big things. So you can actually buy these divided trays and you can buy a double roller. You can put regular roller heads on this or this actually has textured roller heads. You get two colors on your roller. So those are some of the tools that we use with painting and um, all of this you can find either at your home improvement store, the feather dusters. Um, I can only get them at kind of discount stores, dollar stores, stuff like that. I also uh, now I buy them online and the sponges you can buy at art supply stores. So there's some of the cool tools that we use to make everything happen. Uh, yeah, this is community brushes. And then if somebody's real fussy about brushes, they just bring in their own. Yeah, look at that big fat brushy.